look. So we're back from the invert show, the Western invert show. We are exhausted. Absolutely exhausted. It was such a long day. Definitely worth it though. We managed to catch up, uh, well, meet some of our fellow YouTubers. Uh, we bumped into Kelly from Critters and Creation, Sam from Bug Realms, JP's Pet Nation was there. JP is going to order in some Egyptian predatory beetles. That's the ones for us because he didn't have any there, and apparently they're quite difficult to get hold of for some reason at the moment. Um, Natural Learning was there. He is super friendly, and Predator or Prey was there. Unfortunately, he wasn't very well, so I hope you feel better soon. 
Uh, and we briefly bumped into Valley's Tarantulas as well, which is really nice. And yeah, sorry if we've missed anyone. We, we met so many people today that we've never met before. It's a bit overwhelming. We didn't just pick up tarantulas today. Um, so one of Colette's favorite pickups is a little necklace that she's got, which is silver plated, I think. Yeah. Um, and what they did is, well, I think we'll have some footage of it anyway, but what they did is they, they crack open an oyster in front of you um, and then whatever uh, pearl is in there, then they put it in the necklace, which is really cool. We also picked up uh, two enclosures. One of them was a second-hand bog-standard vivarium, uh, which we picked up for our leopard gecko, so we can have a nice, a nice enclosure for her. The second one is a super big, and in fact, when we brought it in here, we realized how big it was. It's a, a really nice glass vivarium. Um, the name of the company has escaped me, but I'll, I'll put it somewhere on the overlay for you. Uh, super nice guys and they make custom uh, glass vivariums. We picked up some red runners to start a colony because we have the dubias already. We wanted something a bit different. They're a lot easier uh, for slings to catch and eat because they're a lot softer. So we've got like three, three lots of those. <laughs> we, got, we got a lot. Uh, Probably got about 250 of them all together, I think. Okay, now we will show you our pickup. We won't be rehousing them in this video. We'll save that for the next video. They deserve a bit of spotlight and yeah. First on our pickup list is a gift from Sam from Bug Realms. So thank you very much for that. Um, is a Lassiodora Pari Havana, also known as the LP, also known as the Salmon Pink Bird Eater. Um, which is a really nice gift because we want a big tarantula. We were going to pick up a um, Sturmy, but we decided not to in the end just because we had this gift. Now, although going there we said no slings, there was just one sling that we had to pick up. Um, if if they had had bigger ones, we would have picked up one, but they didn't. And this is a Syriopagopus lividus. Um, also known as the Cobalt Blue. Yep. Next up is the Harpastera pulchropes, which is the golden leg baboon. Uh, I don't know if you might be able to see it there. Possibly. Um, it is a super pretty spider. Um, and they usually are a lot more expensive for a smaller uh, tarantula than this one was, so just had to pick it up really. The tarantula that we've actually first picked up, which I saw straight away, was the Sea Darlingi. Oh, well, bigger than the last one. I don't know. I'm showing you this here, but I doubt you can see it because these are such cloudy cups. This was on my list of tarantulas that I wanted, so super, super happy that I got it. A close relative to the Darlingi, we got the Sea Marshalli. A lot bigger. <laughs> than that one. This one is the straight horned baboon. Okay, and the Darlingi is the rear horn baboon. Next up is the Pisilteria tigrana vaselli, which is a Pisilteria species that Colette has been uh, looking for for a while. And it's a quite a nice size, and we got a good deal out. And the guy that sold it to us was super nice, real nice. Um, again, the the name of the company is completely lost to me, but we've got his card, so we'll we'll um, do an overlay. But he's a super nice guy. Um, he's going to be in all of the other shows uh, this year and next year. And was it next year yeah, as well? Yeah, next year oh, okay. he's already booked in. Uh, so definitely go say hello if you go to any of the other UK shows. Here we have the Brachypelma Classy, which is a very large, lovely female. Here, or is the reflection ruining it? Perhaps. Um, we're probably going to rehouse her straight away as she doesn't seem too happy in here because she's trying to bite the lid. Yeah. And our last pickup is the biggest. Is the Pisleteria formosa. You can see it. Look. She's an absolute beast. Yes. This is huge. So pretty. Um, this is... The large enclosure that we bought is for this one, so she's yeah, so yeah, yeah. We can't really show you the the uh, the enclosure that we bought, 
but we're gonna make it look really nice. We'll Pro probably do live plants, I think. Yeah, I think we'll do a full video on that one, similar to what we've done for our uh, Lampapalma violoceps. We really wanna kit it all out, it's a big spider, it's not gonna be rehoused from that enclosure, so let's put it all, put all our effort into making it look good now. That's everything for now. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and thanks to everyone who we met at the show as well as everyone who organised it and everyone behind the scenes. It was a fantastic show. It was super busy um, and I think everyone had a, a lovely time. Also shout out to Sam from Bug Realms because he was Spider-Man. So if, oh, okay. you, if you saw Spider-Man running around that was him working, giving out sweets to all the kids. He looked exhausted, bless him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was super hot in there as well so he must have been just dying wearing yeah. that. Anyway, that's all from us. Uh, thanks for watching and see you again next time. Bye.